So how does one um, fight the tendency or the temptation to be trapped in the past? They have to have a vision for themselves in the future. Because without that, you will gravitate to whatever haunts your mind. Leave your past. He's also basically, don't look back. You have to leave it. And you have to free yourself from it, but don't let it control you. Now, what was the way to do that? By, by recognizing there's something to look forward to. I find that consistently in any therapy, in anywhere, in any healing situation where you really help somebody free themselves from the past, it's not because they dwell on it and say, okay, now we're going to un, uh, let's call it un, uh, un, unplug you from your past. The best solution is filling the void with something positive. You give someone a passion, something to fight for, that's the best way to eliminate fighting against demons. Because how, you know, weapons and, and efforts cannot fight darkness. The best way to fight darkness is with light. So if a person does not have a cause, does not have a vision, does not have something to look forward to, yeah, you can work with them and you can find all kinds of, maybe medicate them and find ways to create amnesia and cut out the past. But you, what's happening is what is the person supposed to occupy their mind with? So what is an empty mind going to do? Well, there's no such thing as empty mind. What's your mind going to think? It's going to think about whatever is on it. You have to fill it with something else. And the good news is this. Long before we may have been hurt or shaped by dysfunctional environments and abusive homes and all the negative stuff that can affect us, we have a soul that was not that precedes it all. We say every morning in the prayer, we say, Nisham, the soul you've given me is pure. So we have something that's very intact, and nothing can ever affect it. What can affect us, what, what affects us is like, think of it like a healthy heart. The heart can be very healthy, but the arteries can be blocked. What happens in a dysfunctional environment is the arteries get blocked. And then that becomes your reality. But you have to come to discover that your armor, as I said before, is not your reality. That's, those are only tools. It's only salt at best. What you're real, what really is who you really are, precedes anyone that's ever touched you, anyone that's ever hurt you, anyone that's ever in any way, um, in any way betrayed, or all the other factors that that shape us. To come to connect to that is the key, because once you discover you have that that inner, in them, that soul, and that's intact, then that soul has a mission in this world. There's a vision. Now every person in life needs a mission, but those especially who have, who have fear and insecurity or other forces that in some way impede your progress, need a mission more than anybody else.